Ah, budget season. Yeah? For anyone in finance, those two words can bring on a special kind of dread, right? It's that time of year it's just filled with late nights, endless spreadsheets, and constant revisions. But what if it didn't have to be this painful annual marathon? What if it can actually be a continuous strategic rhythm? Okay, let's dive into this. You know, traditionally, the whole budgeting process is framed as this massive, exhausting event. It's a sprint to a deadline that leaves pretty much everyone, from finance to operations, just completely drained. But why? Why is it structured this way? And maybe more importantly, is all that pain actually productive? I mean, this quote just, it hits home for so many people. It perfectly captures that collective fatigue. It's a scene that plays out in countless offices. You've got that frantic search for the latest version of a spreadsheet, conflicting numbers, and teams just burning out, all to produce a document that might be obsolete in a few months anyway. And that really is the crucial question, isn't it? Is all this pain just the cost of doing business, or is it actually a symptom of a broken process? Well, the good news is, it's the latter. The stress isn't random. It stems from some very specific, identifiable problems in the way we've always done things. So, it turns out, most of the headaches can be traced back to five recurring bottlenecks. These are the hidden time wasters that turn what should be a strategic planning exercise into a total manual data entry nightmare. So let's pinpoint exactly what they are. Here they are, the big five. First, just transforming historical data, getting your numbers in order. Next, you're collecting input from all over the business. Then you've got to manage all the key assumptions, build out the forecast from the bottom up, and finally compile the whole thing. Each one of these steps when you do it manually is just a landmine for friction, errors, and massive, massive delays. Let's start right at the foundation, historical data. I mean, before you can even think about planning for the future, somebody has to export all this raw data, manually regroup accounts, reformat everything, and then just copy-paste it into a usable template. It's tedious, it's error-prone, and it can take days before any real analysis even starts. Okay, so next up is collecting all that business input. This is the part where you're chasing down department heads for their templates, and then you're fixing the broken formulas and formatting that they inevitably send back. And right alongside that, you hit the third bottleneck managing key assumptions. You're trying to keep things like inflation or exchange rates consistent across dozens of separate files. It's a recipe for version control chaos. And finally, we hit the last two roadblocks. First, the heavy lifting of building these detailed bottom-up forecasts for sales and expenses, which takes an enormous amount of time. Then comes the final boss, compiling the budget. This is where you manually merge all those separate files into one master document, and then spend hours, maybe days, hunting for inconsistencies. It's a monumental task. So we've identified the problems, right? Now let's talk about the solution. Modern tools, we're talking things like Python, Power Query, and cloud computing are perfectly designed to target and eliminate every single one of these time wasters. And this just illustrates the difference perfectly. Look at data transformation. The old way involves days of manual cleanup. The new way, you write a script once using something like Power Query or Python, and from then on, refreshing your data is literally a one-click process. The time savings here are immediate and they are massive. So that takes care of the data prep. Now let's apply that same thinking to collecting all the inputs. Instead of chasing down emails and fixing broken spreadsheets, you use locked down templates that prevent users from making errors in the first place. Then an automated process just collects and validates the data as it comes in. This alone can save days of super frustrating cleanup work. And what about those chaotic assumptions? Well, the new way is to create a single centralized source of truth. All your key drivers, like growth rates or costs, are stored in one place. When an assumption changes, dynamic links automatically update every single budget file. The risk of inconsistency, it just vanishes. The way we build forecasts gets a huge upgrade too. We go from these slow, high-level Excel models to incredibly granular forecasts. I'm talking down to the individual customer or product level. So how is this even possible? Well, we use the power of the cloud to run complex models that would just crash a normal laptop. You get richer insights in a fraction of the time. Okay, so fixing these bottlenecks is a huge win. But the real transformation happens when you put it all together. This isn't just about making the annual budget less painful. It's about getting rid of the annual budget as a concept altogether and moving to a new model, 
integrated budgeting. So what exactly is an integrated budgeting process? Well, think of it as a fundamental shift in philosophy. You're no longer creating a static document once a year. Instead, your budget becomes a living, breathing, dynamic model of the business that constantly evolves with new information. And this slide shows you how that rhythm actually works. Every month, your actual results automatically flow into your model from your ERP system. Every week, the finance team can refine key assumptions. This means your projections and your scenarios are always being refreshed. And the result? You always have an up-to-date outlook on the business, ready to go at a moment's notice. And this quote just nails the core idea. You stop training for a once-a-year marathon, and instead you develop this steady, continuous rhythm of planning, learning from new data, and adapting your strategy in near real time. It's proactive, not reactive. So this brings us to the ultimate takeaway. The goal of all this automation, it isn't just to make Excel run faster. The goal is to fundamentally change the role of the finance team and what they can contribute to the business. When you automate the manual low value tasks, you free up your most valuable resource, your team's brain power. Their focus shifts from data entry to high value work. And as you can see here, that means things like strategic analysis, real scenario planning, risk assessment, and providing genuine decision support to leadership. And this is the most important message of all. This is not a story about technology replacing people. It is a story about technology amplifying them, taking away the robotic work so they can focus on the strategic thinking and partnership that truly drives a business forward. So let's just bring it all together. The future of finance isn't about being a spreadsheet wizard who can build a complex model faster than anyone else. It's about building a smarter finance function, one that is connected, continuous, and driven by insight, not by deadlines. And that leaves us with a final question to think about. If your team was freed from that annual marathon, what could they truly achieve? What new opportunities could you uncover if your focus shifted from just building the budget to actually shaping the business?